Hello everybody! Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video on how to install BioS into a virtual box. Maybe some of you might be wondering, and why you need to install BioS, which is an open source router software in a virtual machine? Well, the reason is because maybe you want to use Ansible for automating networks and you want to learn how to do that and maybe you do not have a physical router how you can practice using virtualbox so let's see how to install virtual um bios into virtualbox so that's the bios.io as i said it's an open source software for uh, for routers you can see here and here in the download section you can see that there is the free download the latest release and the source code uh just keep in mind that usually uh they do not let you uh download for free the lts version but they let you download it for free previous versions or also the rolling version uh in this case i'm going to use that one dot uh, 2.9 i'm going to leave the link to download it from in the comment section okay so no worries and let's start so first of all what we've got here is the virtual box virtual box it's the uh, in this case it's the version 7.0 in theory it should work with any virtual box uh, uh, version but let's just stick to the virtual box 7.0 and let's start i do a new and I just need to put here a name. I'm going to do BioS test, for example. And I need to select an uh, ASO image. And here, as you can see, I downloaded the 1.2.9. Okay, so I just select it. And that's all. I do next. And I need to put a base memory and a base CPU. With two gigabytes of memory and one CPU, it's fairly enough. But if you want to start up faster or whatever, you can just put here more memory, more CPU. Okay. Then we create a virtual hard disk now. Yeah, that's fine. These are all the, you know, all the, um, all the summary with a finish. And here is the, the image or the box created. Now let's do a start. Now, what I'm just doing when I push a start, well, you see a lot of, of messages and so on, but what I'm, I'm really doing here is starting the uh, installation process. Okay. So it's not the, um, it's not the final image is just the installation. I'm going to try to make this a bit more uh, big. Uh, now it's bigger. Okay, let me try to, uh, you know, sometimes the integration, it's a quite, you know, oh no. Okay, so now you can see that uh, it has been started. Okay, you see it here. Well, it's just starting. And the first thing that we need to do is log in into this installation um uh oh by os okay so now at this point you need to uh, push enter to get the login and the pa the login is by os by os and the password is by os as well okay so you put by os by os and then you said oh, okay uh here we are in the um, in the in the in the operative system you log in okay now we need to do or we need to run install image install image will install you know the bios into the virtual box so let's do install image it, 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 it says you oh do you want to install do you want to continue you say yes which is the default one then it says okay i'm just checking the drives said how do you want to do the partitions okay in this case auto is enough it says if you want to use this one it says yes uh this will destroy all the data uh yes Notice that here the default is no, but just put yes. And the size, the default size is enough. And now it's just creating or installing the uh, BIOS into this image. Do you want to use 1.2.9? Yes, this is what I am installing. So yes, you're, you're fine. And then also it asks me which is the, the disk to boot up. So it's configuring the group and I'm just saying yeah, the full one is okay. And now ask me for the password for the BIOS, so for the administrator. And I'm going to put it BIOS as well. Okay, so BIOS, BIOS. Okay, yeah, this is the boot partition. This is the full one. 
and done. Now in my virtual box, I've got BioS installed. Keep in mind that BioS uh, doesn't uh, or doesn't automatically configure the machine to use this installation. So you need to do a power off now. So we need to close the uh, machine. Now it's, you know, it's closed. Going here, settings and configure two things. The first one in the storage, you need to go to the controller IDE, which is the I I um, ISO. Push here and do remove disk from virtual drive. So you remove it. Okay, so now when we boot up again, we are not going to start the installation process. And then the second thing that we need to do is going to network and change this adapter from NAT to bridged adapter. So we change this and we put OK. And now we can start. <coughs> uh, yeah, switch. OK, now it's starting again. But now we are not installation or we are sorry, we are not starting the installation process. We are just starting the real BIOS. OK, so let's uh, wait for, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so until it's it started. But what is really important here is that now with this um, virtual box, we will be able to connect. OK, but before we can connect to this uh, virtual box, we need to enable the Ethernet. OK, we need to configure this router because keep in mind that I, I know that this is a virtual box, but this is the software, the operative system that is running inside the physical machine, a router physical machine. OK, so we need to configure the Ethernet ports and the IPs and so on. And that's what we are going to do now. In login, we do BioS, the password, remember that we set to BioS as well. Now we are inside the, um, now we are inside the, uh, the, the, the router, okay? So um, I can even do bigger. I know that it's not that big, but uh, now what we need to run is one command that is named config, Oops, config. This will start the configuration mode. So we are starting configuring the router. Now we do set interfaces because we want to uh, configure the Ethernet interface. Ethernet, the eth H0. And we want to configure the IP of this Ethernet with the HCP. Okay, now we do this, it configures, then we do commit, commit. Then it's committing, then we do save. Now it's, we are saving the configuration. And finally we do exit. So we are exiting from, uh, from configuration mode. Now, if I run show interfaces Ethernet, okay, you'll see that I've got it an IP address 192.168.1.96. This IP is in the same network as my host machine. So it's in the same ne network as the um, as this machine, okay? So oops, this, the, the machine where, where, I'm, 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 where I'm running VirtualBox, so this machine, okay, now. So we are in the same IP range, which means that now what we can do from the host machine is do an SSH to this IP 192.168.1.96 with the login BIOS and the password BIOS, and we will create an SSH connection to that machine. And we will able to, again, run commands on that virtual machine from my host computer. You see that it's not complicated at all. You just need to run this command. But now, at that point, you can start running Ansible to configure that router, okay? You just need to configure Ansible, the inventory file, putting the IP of the route, the login and the password, and you're done. You can start configuring automatically networks using Ansible. So I hope that you found it uh, useful. And of course, remember that at, after that point, it's time to start learning Ansible for network automation.
Bye-bye.